That's one way to say hi. I guess I'm one of the few remaining soldiers after the battle. Well, we're not dead. We're just in some sort of flashback. Must have been our life before the war. Down into the cellar we go. Our grandfather's old wine barrels back when he would make his own. There's the front door key. grandfather's old work from his days as a blacksmith. Nothing else here, so let's go upstairs. Is this my mom? My mother's bed. She sleeps in the supply closet. The back door is locked. Various books belonging to both our father and grandfather. Books include welding, military history, bird watching, and politics. The door appears to be locked from the other side. Okay, so our family has an extensive history serving in the military. Both Pierre and I, and our father and grandfather. I wonder why no one's home. Hey, it's our grandfather's watch. This is Pierre's bed. Boxes filled with our father's old stuff. Rest for the day? I guess. I couldn't go in the backyard or any other doors. Hope I didn't miss anything. Chapter 2. Fight with cudgels. One hour later. That doesn't look like the same picture as my mother. Could it be my girlfriend back at home? Take the ruby pistol? Yes, please. Alright, another weapon. What the hell happened to my rifle and shotgun? Uh, did it get buried under these bodies? Oh, there's no one else around here. Find Pierre and search for help. That guy does not look friendly. Let's just leave him there. All my comrades are dead here. All right, military grade combat knife issued to recruits. Incredibly durable and reliable in any circumstance. Does 0.2 damage. That is weak. But there's no durability. So there's the trade off. Indestructible but weak. Some more gun parts and a grenade. A 
nice of him to leave so many things behind for me. appears to be locked from the other side. Attention. We are running low on medical supplies. Take only what is needed. Thank you. The shelf is lined with old ointments. Two health vials are hidden amongst the ointments. Drink one vial. No. I don't think I need it right now. Those vials will probably heal me to full health, so I better not waste them. Oh, we got some gunpowder. Standard gunpowder. Mix with more gunpowder A to create gunpowder B, or add to chemical fluid to craft pistol ammo. Very much like Resident Evil 3. I'm liking this so far. Yeah, let's come back later. I kind of want to finish looting the other areas first before moving on. First aid kit. Alright, now we are cooking here. Contains a tourniquet and painkillers. Fully restores health. It's just like the disinfectant bandage. Oh, hey, it's a trench raider. Why don't you come on over here, buddy? Nice. It seems like no matter the weapon, it's always a one-hit kill if you hit him from stealth. Let's come back for that shovel later. Rubble is blocking the way. A strong artillery blast should clear it. Let's go ahead and store our extra items. Oilu, you frighten me. I knew I'd see you around here. What will it be? Okay, Mr. Merchant. And he's the one who buys the cigarettes. I don't know if he's going to smoke them all or sell them after the war. There is a ton of things to buy here. We got chemical fluids, we have grenades, ammo, ammo pouches, and gun parts. I think I'm gonna hold off on that for now though, and just save my cigarettes. He also upgrades my weapons too. It looks like I can only upgrade my pistol's firepower only once, at least for now, until I progress further into the story. Oilu, looks like it's just you and me left. It all happened so fast, those bastards. Our deal still stands. Let me know if you have any spare cigarettes. And if you happen to find any gun parts, I can fix up some of your weapons. Well, mate, what are you waiting for? Well, mate, what are you waiting for? I think I'm just going to store my extra items here and then save. Okay, he holds his pistol one-handed, like he's cool or something. Not right, perfect opportunity to test out the gun. Just die. Uh -oh. 
Damn. Much better this time. What is that, a log cabin? Let's head back over to where we last saw Pierre. Oh wait, do they, do they seriously not see me? All right, later losers. Those gas masks must be really blocking your vision. Is that the guy who Pierre killed earlier? The Raiding Club. Homemade spike club used for raiding trenches designed to inflict severe bleeding and trauma. 1.4 damage. That's a lot of damage. An artillery shell. Oh, we need this to clear that pile of debris we found earlier. We're not going to buy anything. We just saw you five minutes ago, buddy. This tunnel's completely collapsed, so we have to head back. You guys are still facing that one direction, huh? Oh, I missed. You know what? We're just going to leave. What do you say about that? Not like you can follow me through here, right? If they could follow us in between rooms, then this game would be much, much more difficult. All right, another door unlocked with the trench key. What is this, a pigeon coop hold? A pouch filled with tools used to clean dirty firearms. Contains lubricant, cloth, and a cleaning rod. Oh, look at the cute pigeon. I need to send help, but the cage is locked. My dude, you have a very sturdy knife. Just use that. Killing or wounding of homing pigeon is punishable by six months of imprisonment or a large fine. We remind you that homing pigeons are doing valuable work for the government and the war effort. And there's the pigeon man. Let's go ahead and backtrack all the way over here again where we found the knife originally. Because there was another door I did not investigate. And look at that, we no longer have use for the trench key. We got a new map of the support line. What the hell was that? Sealed shut would be just wire anyway. Oh, I hurt myself by brushing up against the barbed wire. The door's been completely sealed with barbed wire. We found some wire spool. A spool of barbed wire can be used to patch up trench parapets and prevent unwanted enemy advancements. I don't know when exactly we're going to use that. But either way, uh, but either way, there's a hatch here that leads down below. Tunnel memo. 28th of May, 1916. The Germans have been relentless in their push for the fort. The bombardment has not ceased day and night, and our trench lines are beginning to become unrecognizable. 
Emily was sent out to draw a map of our trench lines. He didn't want to do it, but he didn't have a choice. Despite that, he makes for a good cartographer. 1st of June, 1916. Our supplies are just about out. There's nothing left, and if the Germans recapture the fort, then there's no chance we can retake it in this state. The transport tunnels below the trenches have collapsed after a gas shell exploded down there. There's still men trapped beneath us, but it's pitch black down there, and we have no more torches or gas masks, so all we can do is listen to them scream. Ammunition transport between the supply trench and front lines is now dreadfully slow. If we had usable explosives, clearing the rubble down the supply trench could be possible, but we're low on dynamite, and our last resupply came in faulty and soaked. 2nd of June, 1916. Our new gas mask arrived, but the gas down there has already cleared anyway. We need fucking torches, but the supply truck coming from Verdun was shelled. I'm not sure I can take listening to the screaming any longer. What a fucking disaster. Alright, we're going to need to find a trench torch here in order to light our way. But I want to see if we can poke around just a little bit in the darkness and grab some things. Yeah, that's about it. I don't want to get lost down there, so let's leave. Key duties. In case of enemy attack, new key duties have been implemented as of July 1st. We must not give our key position to German hands. Any and all hindrance to the enemy during times of crisis must be sought. Blockhouse keys, possession of Lieutenant Robin Allard. Infirmary keys, possession of 2nd Lieutenant Wilfred Boislot. Pigeon coop keys, possession of Junior Officer Arthur Corval. Supervising tunnel works under the mess hall. Supply trench key. Possession of Lieutenant Michael Carpenter. Okay, I see. Those piles of rubble with the red X on them, that's where we need to use the artillery shells. But we need to find a way to fire these artillery shells first. You can. Metal canister filled with petrol can be spilled on the ground to create a flammable surface that can be lit. Damn, that sucks. And that's exactly why I can't just climb over the trench wall and make a run for it. I would just get shot. I have no choice but to do what I can down here. I just want to get a sneak attack on this guy. Looks like that might not be possible, so. Oh, he has a friend. Who 
we'll just use the trench shovel on him. I guess my shovel strike was so powerful I instilled fear into his heart. I don't know what happened there. Dynamite has been soaked and is completely unusable like this. Yeah, we read a note about that earlier. We know. Hello, guy. Looks like you need help, but I can't do anything here. The door is bound with military-grade rope. It appears to be soaked in oil. Well, there's a lantern right here. Why can't I just use that to burn it? I'm going to have to find a lighter. And then I bet you I'm going to have to find fuel for that lighter. I want to go back here and finish exploring this area. Hey, there's dry dynamite right here. Nice. Ooh, there's a lot of collectible items in this room. We're just gonna have to come back here later for them. I have a feeling there has to be a save room somewhere on this side of the trenches, right? We're pretty far away from the other ones. Oh, hello, buddy. Over here by yourself. No, he's not. There's someone there. With a gun. There we go. Another save room. Let's just go ahead and throw the dynamite, the fuel, and all the other items in the box. Oh, damn it. Back inside we go. I'd rather be a coward and run away and reset the room than take an unnecessary strike. Okay, that guy's dead. His buddy is totally blind. Perfect. You poor blind soldiers. Before I forget, let's go ahead and head back over to this room and pick up all of the shiny stuff. We'll go ahead and make a disinfectant bandage. I have no idea what these dog tags represent. Diary entry. May 26, 1916. Bernard has not been the same since he came back from Hill 304. He doesn't talk anymore. He just trembles all day and all night, clutching onto his father's old lighter, as if it's made out of solid gold. Nobody really knows what to do with him anymore. May 27th, 1916. Fighting has broken out again at Fort Soyville. We are waiting here as backup in case more men fall. The artillery has been immense. Often they miss the fort and end up in our support trench. Bernardo started pissing and shitting himself as if we don't already have a rat problem. May 28th, 1916. An officer carried Bernard out of the quarters last night. We haven't seen him since. Looks like he locked his lighter away in his lockbox. Victor keeps trying to open it, insisting that Bernard won't need it anymore. Those two never did get along. If he had half a brain, he'd use Bernard's birth year as a code. That's what every idiot around here does. Birth year, huh? And we need that lighter to burn away the rope locking the gate. Oh, wait a minute. We saw Bernard's name here. The dog tags. Right in the middle. Morel Bernard, 1914. So then... And so here we go, class year 1914, class type active, 19 to 20 years, 
And this poster here shows us... And so the poster here shows us different years, right? And so that should be like 1895, right? Oh, oops. There we go. Okay, cool. We got his lighter. And of course, it's empty. I knew it. British brass lighter showing signs of rust and light objects if needed. It's completely empty and requires a unique type of special lighter fluid. Well, since I don't have any use for it right now, let's go ahead and throw it back in the box. And time to move on. Oh, that sucks for you, buddy. Man, it just sucks for everybody around here. But especially for that guy caught in the bobbed wire. It is so damn dark down here. Oh, come on. You're going to do that to me? I know there's no monsters in this game so far. But there's that possibility that there could be. And now we have our flashlight. Or torch. Oh, look at that. I missed this area because I didn't see it when I didn't have a flashlight. Body armor? Makeshift chainmail that can be worn underneath the uniform. Prevents flinching and damage from melee strikes. Really? Not just flinching, but straight up damage, you say? And you know the drill. Come back and throw these items in the box and save. And yeah, it may seem cheap to run back and reset the room, and it kind of is, but these trench raiders do so much damage. storage highly flammable door won't budge lockpick might do the trick alas another dead end at least we unlocked that door and opened up a little bit of the interconnectivity of the map now is a perfect time to start exploring this area that's right you won't see it coming He saw me though. Okay. Wait, what the hell? 
The guy closest to me didn't see me, but the other one did. Okay, hiding here won't work. Just gonna reset again, and... Babushki. This guy can see through walls, man. Just you and me, buddy. Let's go. Damn that kick. How many hits does it take to get to the squishy center of a German? Another locked blockhouse, and they don't tell us why they locked the blockhouse, except that the blockhouse is locked. Check that out in a second. Okay, what is this? Half of a wire cutter. Where is the other half? Yeah, I definitely need that to get through that barbed wire door. Okay, for now we'll just have to throw this in our item box along with everything else. Now is a perfect time to revisit the tunnels below the mess hall, now that we have a torch. got the coop key. You hear that breathing? Is that me? Or is there someone here nearby? Alright, I don't think there's anything else here, so let's get out of here. Oh, you son of a bitch. I knew there was someone else down here. Oh, shit. Yeah, let's go ahead and leave. Those guys hurt. I do have a full heal, but you know what? That guy, he, he needs some alone time down in the tunnels. Let's just leave him down there. All right, we are fully healed. We have our coop key. Let's see if we can open the gate and let the pigeon out. And of course the pigeon's dead. And of course someone came in and killed the pigeon. And of course someone came in and killed the pigeon. There was no way the enemy was going to let our messenger pigeon survive. Emergency. 
They have the fort and are dropping heavy artillery on support trenches. There are many wounded and we cannot evacuate. We are suffering. Send help for heaven's sake. Yeah, unfortunately that message didn't get sent out now, did it? Let's make our way to the flammable storage unit. Can't really fire your rifle if I'm beating the shit out of you with a shovel, can ya? It just works. Jesus, this guy scared me for a second. I thought he was an enemy soldier. Markel, Andre, you're still with us. We had to retreat. Those bastards came down so fast. It was never ending. Henry and John, they... I haven't seen them. Have you? I see. We mustn't let this fort fall in their hands. It can't be for nothing. I heard fighting coming from inside. Some of us are still in there somewhere. The entrance out there is locked. I'm going to try and find another way around. He ran off in a hurry. That's unlike him. I mean, dude, it's war. He's probably hopped up on adrenaline and freaking the hell out. Either way, another smorgasbord of things to collect in here. We have a repair kit. A toolbox filled with supplies that can be used to repair basic tools and melee weapons enough supplies for one repair you know what I'm going to save that for my trench club more gun parts there's the lighter fluid A whole bunch of fuel. Note on rats. June 18th, 1916. The rat problem has gotten out of hand. The bastards are getting big. I've seen some damn near the size of a small dog. Still as quick as the little ones. Just as hard for a clean shot. Not worth the ammo. Easy is to catch one of them on the other end of a shovel or club. This is how we entertain ourselves on quiet days. If we're lucky to have one. The rats have developed a desire for human flesh. I can't blame them. But there's enough of that lying around here. In the sectors where the bodies remain, the rat hordes are insufferable. They crawl all over you in your sleep and scurry around the tables where we try to eat. The big ones are well vicious. I'd rather be hit over the head by a German club than take a bite from one of those beasts. We have to take the rat problem more seriously. Albert was bitten in his sleep two nights ago by one of those big ones. Yesterday, he spent the day vomiting all over his quarters. He's very sick. The filthy creatures must be carrying something. As long as the Bach are also dealing with this menace. June 29th, 1916. The bodies keep piling up. The artillery siege hasn't stopped for days. Our makeshift plots have caught fire today after we filled them up. Couldn't believe what I saw. Hundreds of those ghastly creatures came scurrying out in a panic. Seems like they don't like fire. July 1st, 1916. We gave the burnt bodies a proper burial today. I was expecting rats to put up a fight. But to my surprise, the pile of corpses housed not a single one. 
Seems they only want fresh meat. Oh, seems like the rats are getting spoiled. They don't want the rotting, deceased carcasses of soldiers. They want to eat living soldiers. Ugh. They really like their meat rare. An old rusted water pump. The handle's missing. And there's the shotgun. Pump action shotgun, unusable as is. Alright, well in the meantime we did refill our lighter up with the fuel we found, so we might as well go ahead and burn this rope. Sorry, buddy. Wish I could help you, but, uh... Sucks, I guess. Supply trench key. Okay. I believe that's way down south. Oh shit, the enemies are on another bombing run. And there's the rats. They ate the guy, and now they're coming for me because I am the fresh meat. Oh man. The rats are out and about now. This is not good. Seems like running does a great job. Yes, it does. And there's no more doors to unlock, so we got rid of that key. Is he going to move? Hey, there's our replacement rifle. What can I say? Sneak attack always works, man. Did somebody shove their cigarettes in the latrine? That's one way to keep a stash, I suppose. A crate filled with wooden crosses. drawer. Oh, I think I need a small key for that. Or a lockpick.
What is this? A wall of rubble blocks the way. It looks loose enough to be cleared with dynamite. Okay, so this is where we use it then. An old explosive detonator. It's missing a handle. And it's never that easy, is it? When doing demolitions, ensure the stability of surrounding tunnels. Watch for incoming debris after the use of explosives. Okay, I'm pretty sure there's a new save room around here. I don't want to back travel all the way back. There's the detonator handle. Everything is just lining up for us. I can come back for the gunpowder later. Is that an artillery shell? And another friendly soldier just chilling here in the corner. Hey, bud. The name's Gaston. Got a spare smoke? I have over a hundred smokes to spare, actually. But what will you give me in return, hmm? Yeah, right. You can take one. You're a lifesaver. Keep safe, bud. Is that all you're going to say? You have nothing to comment about the horrible state of our war? All right, we'll just have to come back for the artillery shell here. I could go down there and grab the artillery shell, but there also might be another important item up here, so I want to look out for that. Whew, here we go, another save room. I am so glad we found this. Let's just drop off some items here and the rifle as well. And loot up the rest of the room. Looks like even the supply line has overrun, isn't it? What a fucked up morning it has been. We better hope Fort St. Mikkel has backup troops. Otherwise, well... That's we keep positive, eh, Poilu? Alright, we're not gonna save just yet. We're gonna explore a little bit further. Oh, hey, buddy. I'll just leave him there. A 75mm artillery cannon looks to be pointing towards the support trench west. It isn't currently holding a shell. Okay, so this is where I fire the artillery shells. Are you going to be okay there, man?
All right, in the meantime, I'm going to go grab that extra artillery shell and then use the dynamite here on the loose rubble. All right, here we go. Oh, there's a big giant boulder block in the way. I guess it's going to start moving as soon as I leave. <laughs> oh, look at it go. All right, anyway. Got a crystal. Fragment of an unknown crystal likely unearthed by artillery. It has no apparent use to you, although it may be of use to someone else. Okay, so it's just a sellable only item. Good to know. Alright, gun parts. And the other cutter half. Oh yeah, baby. Cigarettes, a pickaxe. Agricultural tool used to dig through earth can be used to shatter rocks, even bone with ease. Damage 0 0.5. Yeah, well, here's the thing. I don't know if I'm going to use this because I still have the shovel and I have the trench club with a repair kit that I can use on the trench club when it breaks. Better to have, not, better to have than not have it, I suppose. Now that we have the cutter half, we can go and open that barbed wire door finally. if we can avoid these damn rats. Okay, they're not buying it. Oh, okay, now I'm poisoned. I'm diseased. I'm soiled goods. Screw this, I'm running. Okay, here we go, the barbed wire door. I hope it's not a boss fight and I didn't just screw myself over. Oh, won't you look at that, an item box and a whole bunch of extra ammunition, healing items, look at all these things. Okay, let's reorganize our inventory, let's heal, and I think we're about as ready as we'll ever be to face whatever's on the opposite side of that door. Oh, it's totally a boss fight. Am I fighting like a super soldier or something? Like Captain Germany? Okay, I have to fight this big guy. Oh, there's two of them. Damn it, I wanted to shoot that explosive barrel.
missed the barrel. Okay, maybe I should switch over to the rifle here. Youch. It's a lot of damage. I do not know why I keep trying to pick up the shovel. Okay, they took some damage. And... Why didn't I heal? I'll give this fight another shot in the next episode, everybody. This video has gone on for way too long. If you all liked what you see, please give a like. If not, please dislike it. Anyway, this has been Pazikal, and I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed playing it. Take care, everybody.